Happy Thursday, Memorial. If it had not been for, I would not have. Those are introductory words all of us have said at one time or another when we relate the story of our lives to someone. If it had not been for coming to Fernandina Beach 20 years ago with a girlfriend, I probably wouldn't be living here today. If it had not been for the death of my child, Joel, I would not have my son, Patrick, and the two wonderful grandsons that are his sons who are a blessing to me. It's this last event I want to talk about for just a moment. It was a tragedy. It was my first experience as a young woman with the death of someone close to me. I was devastated. I was riddled with irrational guilt and I was heartbroken. I was. We have all been, ex we've all experienced loss of one kind or another or a trial or tragedy that has broken our hearts too, for no life is immune from these things. However, I have come to realize that good can come from something bad. And it's especially true when we realize Romans 8:28 is a scripture we can claim. It says, all things work for good for all who love him and are called according to his purpose. This has been true for me, and I suspect it's been true for many of you too. However, when we're in the midst of an emotional storm, it's hard to imagine anything good coming from it, right? So we're, we're too immersed in the emotional pain from it. And that's when we're vulnerable to defeat and destruction. It's also when we realize that we have faith, family, friends, and our church that become the bulwark for our minds and hearts during such a time. I'm bringing all of this to the forefront this week because as things begin to open up in our state and we long for normalcy, don't we? We all long for it. We are likely to be facing coping with a predicted second wave of this virus. And that's likely to dash our hopes once again of getting back to normal soon. And so we're gonna to need to be living and from and in a house built not on sand, but on rock. Jesus is that rock. Our church is that rock. Our loving family and friends are that rock. We need to claim Romans 8, 28 as a rudder to keep us clear from crashing. We need to persevere. We need to persevere through this time together. Often when I'm feeling blue, maybe a little sorry for myself to boot, a brisk walk, some time in prayer, and a call to a good friend can bring me out of what we call the sclumpies in my house. But there's also another exercise that I find helpful. I begin counting my blessings and I write them down, write down what I'm thankful for. A variation of that exercise is how I started this message today. Completing that phrase, if it had not been for, I would not have. I got a call from our daughter this week who said, you know, if it had not been for this pandemic, I would, never would have taken up working with acrylics and I love it. So I'm wondering if this is something we all can do as it relates to this pandemic. If you're too immersed in the negative emotions from it, perhaps a good place to start might be something from your past, some heartache from your past. And only you know what about that trouble might have been where you can say, if it had not been for that trouble, I would not have, and you complete the sentence. You know, until this pandemic hit us, very few people have ever heard of the 100-year-old 1918 Spanish flu, although some of us might have heard of the bubonic plague that happened in the Middle Ages. It seems that this pandemic we're in right now will never end, but it will. The 1918 pandemic ended, as did the bubonic plague. But it's up to us to determine how we're going to persevere until it does. And persevere we can and we will. And I'm thinking about the positives that we're already seeing from it. Just one example is our 11 o'clock a.m. Facebook and YouTube worship service. If it had not been for this pandemic, we would not have done it when we did. And it will continue long after this pandemic is gone. 
That's a good thing for so many who could not, for one reason or another, worship on our church campus before this pandemic. So how about you? Take the time now and answer, if it had not been for this pandemic, I would not have and be blessed.